Hi Erin, today is Wednesday, June 15th. Yep, 15th. As you know, I was home in Pittsburgh over the weekend and I had planned on taking a bunch of footage while I was there so that I could use that for my vlog today. And um, this is all that I recorded. Hi Erin. Um, so Alexis and I see here's Alexis. Hi. Um, just went to extras casting and it was really exciting and we were there for a while. Um, then not as long as we thought that we would be, no. I feel. No. Um, the actual process is very short. There are just a lot of people. So now we're going to get food. And I thought I would start vlogging because I said I was going to vlog the weekend. So I've kind of failed so far. Anyway, so this is Pittsburgh. So, yeah, that um, obviously I didn't record very much. But I did have a good trip. Friday night, I spent at my sister's and then hung out with her and the kids all day Saturday. And that was a lot of fun. It was really nice, especially to see James um, and get to hang out with him for a while. And Katie's turning into more of like an actual human, so that's nice. And Sunday I went to the casting call with Alexis, which was fun, I guess. Yeah, it was fun. Um, we were there for a while, there was a lot of hanging out in line. And it was fun to actually get to hang out with Alexis for a while. And then I went up and met up with my dad to go to the Carnegie Library extravaganza. So my dad went to help my sister get the kids out of the car when they got there. And I wandered off and sat on the front steps and texted my friend Kaylee because I know she works weekends and let her know I was there. And conveniently, she was on her way out the front door at the time. So I met up with her and walked around with her and then went back down to the basement so I could say hi to other people. And while I was down there, Kaylee asked if I would dance for her. She put on some music. I did um, a live version of Secrets Shy Boy in the basement of the library, which was <laughs> very fun and odd and possibly confusing for the person who came in as I was dancing who has never met me before. It was really nice to see Kaylee. I love you, Kaylee. And obviously also Stephanie and Sarah and everyone um, and to dance in the, in the library basement because how often does that happen? Actually, this is the second time I've danced in that basement. So I guess more often than you might think. So when I was at the casting call, we filled out these little papers, and there was a box where you could list any special skills or abilities that you might have that would be useful, like if they need extras to play police officers, or bartenders, or athletes, or whatever. It's nicer to have people who actually have those real-world skills so they look more convincing in the background. And I left that box blank. I kind of wanted to list librarian, but I figured that wasn't the sort of thing that they were looking for. And it got me thinking about the sorts of things that I wish I could put in that box, like dancer and training in martial arts and weaponry. And it got me thinking about the sorts of things that we have as life goals that are unrealistic or go unpursued. Like for me, being a dancer, being a stunt person, generally performing, singing, being on stage, knowing how to fight, use a sword, and throw knives, being a writer, being a superhero, being a horologist. Some of those things are things that maybe someday I'll accomplish. And some of those things are things that I'm really likely to never accomplish in my life. And I think we all kind of have that sort of thing, some sort of unfulfilled life goal that we just always kind of have in our minds, but maybe we don't ever do anything about. Sometimes they go unpursued for practical reasons. Like, being a superhero, it's really hard. You have to have lots of training, you have to, you know, not get put in jail for vigilante justice, and if you don't have superpowers, which sadly, you know, I, I don't have any superpowers, you have to be more gadget-based, and that gets Expensive unless you have really good access to technology or are able to invent it yourself. 
And so, you know, practically, it's just not something I'm likely to accomplish. For me, a lot of those things are things that I just haven't done anything to actively pursue them. Like, I'd like to be a writer someday, but I'm terrible about discipline, and you can't actually be a writer without, you know, writing. So my question for you is, what are some of your unfulfilled life goals, whether you think you might accomplish them someday or not? They can be realistic, they can be completely out there, whatever. I want to know what your unfulfilled life goals are. And, Erin, I have your very first challenge for this channel, and that is to participate in Val and Kayla's Everybody Dance Challenge, either in the current energy challenge, which ends a week from Sunday, or the next challenge, which who knows what it'll be. So far we've had Dance with an Umbrella, be super duper cute, and it'd be super duper energized. So who knows? I'm sure it'll be something fun though. So you can participate in either energy or the next challenge. And I am definitely more than willing to help in any way that you'd like, um, like picking out a song or a dance or helping you learn it. Um, or especially we could do a collab video to enter, which I think would be really fun. So let me know what you think, and I hope you like your challenge, and I will see you on Monday.